Hello, I'm Natalie Graham. We start tonight with that news that Maidstone United have been knocked out of the FA Cup after a comprehensive defeat to Coventry in the fifth round. Two late goals sealed a 5-0 win for the Sky Blues as Mark Robbins' side produced a professional display from the first whistle and avoided an upset. But for the 4,000-plus Stones fans who made the trip to the Midlands, memories of their cup run will last a lifetime. It's, it's incredible, really, the kind of level they're playing at and yeah. the kind of level they've, they've gone up to, you can't, you can't make it up. Yeah. So, yeah. It was always going to be a tough field to climb um, in second half. Could have done it, but grabbed too late on, didn't they? But they've made right, us right. very proud, Honestly. really have. So yeah. They did their best and they were always winners in our eyes. I love Maidstone! <laughs> but we outsung them, so we should all be very proud of ourselves, I think. Our last sports reporter, James Dunn, is pitch side for us now. And James, those fans summed it up, didn't they? Huge disappointment, but great pride in their side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sadly, they were never really in the game, but it didn't stop them singing right till the very end. And over there, there were emotional scenes really after the match as all the players and the staff went over and they sang with the fans for half an hour. They celebrated with them. And why wouldn't they celebrate? Because they've done the impossible. They beat a League Two team that people said they couldn't beat. They beat a League One team and they beat a championship side to get here. At every stage, they had defied the odds. Sadly tonight, they were just a bit too heavily stacked against them. James in Coventry, thank you.